there thank you for watching my channel today I have a new square for you it's a granny square with a little open um, corners over here with uh, double crochet three togethers and this is what I want to show you so I have a very very pink yarn over here and a crochet hook number five and I like to use the magic circle but you can also choose to chain six and then uh, make a circle out of it to uh, slip stitch in a first stitch but I like the magic circle so choose what you want to use for the beginning so in this magic circle I'm chaining three this counts as a double crochet but we need to make a double crochet three together but the first one is chain three and then the two double crochet together so yarn over in your magic circle pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two loops leave the other two yarn over draw up a loop in the magic circle yarn over pull through the first two loops on your hook so now you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the uh, all loops on your hook so now chain four this makes your corner and in this magic circle make a double crochet three together so yarn over draw up a loop in your magic circle yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over draw up a loop in your magic circle yarn over pull through the first two loops and now once more yarn over draw up a loop in your magic circle yarn over pull through the first two loops now we have four loops on our hook yarn over pull through the all loops now chain two and let's do this again so make a double crochet three together in the magic circle now chain four We are making our next corner so make another double crochet three together chain two in that magic circle make double crochet three together now let's make our next corner so chain four and then again make a double crochet three together chain two and make a double crochet three together chain four and once more make a double crochet three together in the magic circle now chain two and then on top of your chain three make a slip stitch I'm really tightening up the magic circle a bit okay so for row 2 chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 this counts as a double crochet and chain 2 and now in the chain four make a double crochet three together chain two to make the corner 
and then in that same chain 4 space make a double crochet 3 together chain 2 and now in the double crochet 3 together over here make 1 double crochet You need to change the two space over here, make one double crochet, and in the double crochet three together over here, make one double crochet, chain two, and now repeat this what I'm doing in the chain four space, make a double crochet three together. chain 2 and make a double crochet 3 together in the same space chain 2 and then in the double crochet 3 together make a double crochet in the chain 2 space make a double crochet in it, double crochet 3 together, make a double crochet chain 2 and continue this for the rest of this row and then I'll be back with you when I'm at the beginning ok, so I made my last double crochet 3 together, then chain 2 and then in this double crochet 3 together make a double crochet and in the chain 2 space make a double crochet and then in the 1, 2, 3rd chain of the chain 5 make a slip stitch so that this counts now as a double crochet and chain 2 ok so for row 3, chain 3 this counts as a double crochet in the chain 2 space make 2 double crochets so 1 and 2 chain 2 and then in the chain 2 space in the corner make a double crochet 3 together chain 2 and in the same chain 2 space in the corner make a double crochet two together uh, 3 together, I'm sorry double crochet 3 together Now continue this for the rest of your row, so watch this chain 2, skip this double crochet 3 together and in the chain 2 space make 2 double crochets chain 2 and on top of every double crochet make 1 double crochet And then in a chain 2 space make 2 double crochets so each side will be increased by uh, 4 double crochets so you have 3 over here now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over here Because ok so chain 2 and in the corners make a three, uh, double crochet 3 together chain 2 and again make a double crochet 3 together in the corner chain 2 and then skip the double crochet to 3 together and then make 2 double crochets in the chain 2 space make 1 double crochet on top of every double crochet and in the chain 2 space make 2 double crochets chain 2 and then just continue this row and I will be back with you at the end of this row ok so I made my double crochet 3 together so over here and then chain 2 and then chain 2 space make 2 double crochets now I have 2 double crochets left so in those double crochet make 1 double crochet and 
and this chain 3 counted as a double crochet. So in top of this double crochet, uh, chain 3, I'm sorry, make a slip stitch. And there is your row 3. So now for row 4, chain 3. In the next two double crochets, make one double crochet. In the chain 2 space, make two double crochets. And now chain 2. And in the corner, in the chain 2 space, make double crochet 3 together. Chain 2 to make your corner. And then in that same chain 2 space, make a double crochet 3 together again. And then chain 2 and this is just repeating this row it's just like the previous row only you add more double crochets so skip the double crochet 3 together of the previous row and in a chain 2 space make 2 double crochets and over the next 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 double crochets make 1 double crochet I'm not going too slow because it's all just repeating. You can always pause the video. But this is just all the same for each row, just adding more stitches. So in the chain 2 space make 2 double crochets. And then chain two. Don't forget those because you need to um, make them to go over to the corner or else your work will be wobbly. So in the corner make a double crochet three together. Chain two to make your next to make your corner and then make a double crochet three together. In that same space, chain two, and then in the chain two space, make two double crochets. In the next seven double crochets, make one double crochet. In the chain two space, make two double crochets, chain two, and then make your corners and just continue on till you are at the end of your row. And I'll show you how to end this row. Okay, so in the chain 2 space I made 2 double crochets and I have 4 double crochets left. So in every double crochet make 1 double crochet. And then in the third chain from the chain 3 make a slip stitch. Now for row 5 I'm going to make only double crochets, but if you want to increase your work then just continue what we did over here, just make your double crochets and in the uh, chain 2 spaces make 2 double crochets and then chain 2 and then make your corners with the double crochet 3 together, chain 2, double crochet 3 together, chain 2 and just increase with making 2 double crochets in these chain 2 spaces and a double crochet along the double crochets but uh, if you want it to be smaller then just leave this row and then make double crochets with this row but I'm going to show you how to make the double crochet edge and that's like the following just chain three and then on every double crochet make a double crochet In this chain 2 space make 2 double crochets and 
and any double crochet three together make a double crochet and in the corner in the chain two space make two double crochets then chain two to make the corner and then in the same chain two space in your corner make two double crochets in your chain uh, double crochet three together make a double crochet in your chain two space make two double crochets and then on every double crochet make one double crochet And then in the chain two space make two double crochets. Just continue this for the rest of your row. In your double crochet three together make one double crochet. In the corner in your chain two space make two double crochets. Chain two and again two double crochets in your corner. and a double crochet in your double crochet three together and two double crochets in chain two space and just continue for this row and when you're at the end this is your last stitch here and then just cut off your yarn leaving a tail and then just slip stitch in the third chain from a chain three and then your square is done and if you are doing it with cotton yarn your square will be smaller at least with, when you have this uh, small uh, thin yarn but your work will also be looking more crisp because this is more fluffy more I don't know how you can describe it but just it will make just a different square how it looks so you can see this square is a little bit smaller and with a little bit different yarn so every yarn will look different when you are crocheting the square but this is what i wanted to show you and i hope you liked it if you have any questions feel free to ask me them in the comment section below and if you want to um, give me a thumbs up i would like that and you can also subscribe to my channel so you get a notification when i upload a new video and for now i just wish you happy crocheting and i'll see you next time bye bye